Hey everybody, Pat Masidi here, and uh, what an interesting week we have had. Uh, I want to address a couple of things today that I believe are vitally important. And what I want to address, I, I hear a lot of people saying things like, oh, you know, it's political. You know, we shouldn't get involved because it's political, you know, politics, blah, 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 blah. Let me just say this. It is no longer an issue of politics. What's happening in Australia, and I've got to say globally, remember, this is a global agenda. This is not just an agenda uh, in, in Australia or New Zealand. It's a global agenda, and it is an area of right versus wrong, good versus evil. What happened this week to seven uh, young players of faith, they were forced, forced to bow the knee to something they didn't believe in. No different to Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. No different whatsoever. But they chose to go through a fire rather than bow the knee of compromise. And what amazes me is the lack of support from the Christian community for these seven. And I'm talking vocal support because there really isn't much support for them out there. And I really believe it placed those boys in a very difficult position because they're not anti their mates or the or the people on the football field or the people out there in the community. They're just standing for what they believe. This is part of the corruption and the evil that's going on in our world. And I've got to tell you, Labor isn't is not. They're they're absolutely and totally corrupt. Just just let me say this: when you look at Anastasia Palaszczuk and the corruption in the Queensland government, uh, Queensland government. When you look at the dictator Dan Andrews and the corruption and his link to the CFMEU, it's little wonder that the Prime Minister, one of the first thing Albanese does is he tries to scrap the um, construction watchdog. And Peter Dutton brought this up in Parliament. Why is Albanese trying to scrap or scrapping the, um, the, 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 the the construction watchdog, the, the the Australian Building Construction Commission, and he says, "Oh well, you know, you, you you've got the um you, you, you've got the ombudsman to do that." No, we, we do and we don't. You see what Albanese has done, and when Peter Dutton challenged him as to his um his conversations with the members of the CFMEU, he took a back step. He took a back step. This is the same bunch of thugs that in Melbourne turned on, beat up their own people. These are the same bunch of people that said, oh, we've never met with Dan Andrews. And then a photograph comes out of their leader, corrupt man, a total corrupt man, with a photo with him and Dan. And, and, he, and even if, let me just say this, even if he says, I never met the man, you're telling me they never had a phone call? You're telling me they never had a conversation? Garbage. It's a lie. You see, the corruption in Labor, and they are so in bed with the unions. Let me tell you, they are, are committing a form of, 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 of evil with the Greens, with the Teals, with the unions, all bent on raising inflation. Why? Because of the globalist agenda that you will own nothing and you will be happy. The globalist agenda of climate change, which is out there to destroy, to destroy our farmers, to destroy our natural resources. Senator Matt Canavan said, hey, where's our $275 that you promised us to lower electricity? You can't lower electricity and actually punish the resources that create it. Albanese is out of his mind. This man will say anything for an a vote. I think Paul Murray calls him two-way elbow. I call him, I think he's, he's a seven-way nutcase. You keep compromising with people. And let me tell you, you pay the piper. This is why these young boys refused, refused to bow the knee to the globalist agenda to the rainbow community, and, and Ian Roberts wanting to meet with them. Seriously, Ian, get, get a life, mate. Get a life. Not about your jersey. It's about convictions of right, what they believe to be right, 
and what they believe to be wrong. And they don't have to wear your frickin' colours. They don't have to wear them. We, we don't have to agree with people to show love. You don't. Uh, look, I'm sure many of you, as I said the other day, have had arguments with your spouses or your family. You love them, but you got different opinions. And all these sports writers out there, Miss Moylan out there and everybody else that want us, you know, to bow, <coughs> bow, the, knee, <coughs> bow the knee of inclusion, we're not excluding anybody. We're just saying we don't, we don't bow to this. Interestingly enough, one person that's not bowing is Pauline Hanson. And she's been called racist and everything else. Why? Because she believes that this welcome to country thing is divisive, as do I. We don't need two flags in this country. Nothing wrong with the one we've got. But you see, activism doesn't care. And by the way, I've got a lot of friends in, in, in the Indigenous community. Jacinda Price said, remember Jacinda Price, former mayor of Darwin, now in parliament, said, that she agreed. Now, this is a Indigenous person with a brain. I'm not saying people out there don't have a brain, so please don't misread what I'm saying. And don't go putting up here that I said Indigenous people don't have a brain. That's not what I'm saying. You put that kind of nonsense up there, I'm going to deal with it. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is Jacinda has been vilified. She's been ostracised. She's been attacked. By her own people. Why? Because she doesn't follow the narrative. And she said, let's have something in Parliament that actually really reflects change. Putting up a flag, whatever that flag costs, millions of dollars up in, in Sydney. Do you think it's going to make one bit of difference to the Indigenous people? Absolutely not. Putting colours up there. It doesn't make a difference. Welcome to country, which some churches, including one mega church in Sydney, and I've said... They, they do that one more time, and I know they watch. You do that one more time, I'm going to name the person publicly and I'm going to name the church, and I'll do it on this platform. The church was dedicated, those grounds were dedicated to the God, not to some incantation or some relic of the past. And I'm going to get some of you riled up about that. But we've got to stop this nonsense. We've got to stop. This corruption, this evil agenda, where if you don't... See, here's the thing with the left. They don't mind you having your opinion as long as it's their opinion. They don't mind you having a voice as long as it's their voice. And from what I've read, they're estimating that inflation is going to skyrocket. Now, listen to me very carefully. I've been harping on these rants, and I know they're a bit of harping and... Sometimes we go off on a few tangents, but I know you guys understand what I'm, I'm fighting for your freedoms. And one of the big freedoms I'm fighting for is your financial freedom. Listen to me very carefully. I have been able to say what I say, fund what I fund, do what I do, because I was able to build an online business, which I call Unbreakable. During COVID, over eight or 12, uh, between eight and 12 of my students developed major businesses globally using what I taught them. Now, this Wednesday, I'm hosting Unbreakable. I haven't done it for three or four months. I actually was thinking about never doing them again. But people are crying out for help. Now, listen to me very carefully. Listen to me very carefully. My book, Unbreakable, which is based on what I actually did for my students, how I built this business, how I built it, and, and how I want to build with you and for you. Listen to me very carefully. You get a free copy of my book. Now, please just don't get the free copy of the book that I'll learn from the book. The book doesn't, the book is powerful, but the webinar is more powerful because I'm going to teach you the four or five things that are not in the book. That's why I want you to get on the webinar that are going to really help you build a successful, powerful, unbreakable online business. Now, I know someone said the other, what happens if the internet breaks down and they do all that? Listen. I've got to make hay while the sunshine. I can't go thinking that for a head. Jesus said, don't go worrying about tomorrow. Use what you got today. Use what you got today. This is why with things like crypto and investments in, in trading and everything, I'm saying, look, I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. I can only use what I got today. That's what the good book teaches me to do. So this coming Wednesday, we've got about 120 spots left because of uh, obviously we, we service all of our clients. But I'm coming to you with my friends on Facebook. 
there is a link at the top of this chat. And I will put it also in the chat. I would love for you to join me next Wednesday. I'm going to show you how to build a successful online business. I'm going to show you that you don't need a product, you don't need experience, and you don't really need much technical skills. Look, I barely can work this thing here when, when, when I, I do my, my Facebook lives. And I, I'm not a technical guru. I'm not an online guru. I'm not. But if you've got a slither of information, listen to me, all you need is faith and belief of a mustard seed and you can build something significant. This Wednesday is going to be one of the most powerful events I have ever done. Now, I've got about 120 spots. There are thousands of you that listen to us. I want to encourage you, go now. Some of you watching me live, I know Facebook doesn't show all our numbers and stuff sometimes, they playing... Um, you know, silly games with us, as is Instagram. But if you go to the link that I will place also in the chat, number one, the webinar is free. Number two, you get my book for free. There's no obligation for that, no payment. Or if you want, you can go pay twenty nine ninety five. but you go on the link, you get it for free. But listen to me, don't just go to the link and sign up because you get a free book. Show up because, listen to me, what you catch in here on that webinar can change your life. I would love to mentor you. I'd love to help you. Someone once, uh, someone not once, the other one said to me, oh, you do these webinars for free. Why don't you give all your stuff away for free? In the absence of value, you will argue cost. And that which is easily obtained is easily, watch this, discarded. You've got to have some skin in the game, folks. You've got to have some skin in the game. So join me Wednesday. It's going to be very, very powerful. Listen to me as I close. We are in a war, spiritual, economical. We are in a war for values. What happened this week to those young players in Manly should have never happened. And by the way, the coach should not have been left there to explain. That's up to the board that make that decision. And I'm appealing to all the sports to stop this nonsense. Stop making our athletes having to bow to the knee to things that they don't agree with and things that they don't believe in. They're there to play sport. Stop doing it to women. Stop it. This agenda right now is a globalist evil agenda driven by the World Health Organization and the WEF. Right now, they're making all these decisions about the new one, monkey pox. Well, if you want to live like animals, you're going to have to, you fill in the blanks. They're creating another scare. They're creating another, another issue for people to be, um, divided. See, it's the old tactic of divide and conquer. I don't care what people do in their bedroom. It's none of my business and I'm no one's moral policeman. But you must never force people. We have a thing called free will and I'm going to keep harping on this because God doesn't even intervene with free will. You know who does? The evil one. And you can tell agendas when they are driven by control. Driven by control. That's why today I thought I'd come to you, not ranting and raving like I normally do, but have a look at what's happening. They want you to bow the knee when it comes to things of, you know, welcome to country. Bow the knee when it comes to, you know, uh, the things of, you know, transgender uh, uh, agenda and, 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 and rainbow colours and whatever and pride, pride. Well, let me tell you, pride cometh before the fall. They want you to bow the knee when it comes to this new religion of climate change. And mark my words, it is a religion. I'll be talking more about that later on uh, in, in a few weeks, about this religion of climate change. Now, Sunday, I've got a very, 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 very powerful message that basically is becoming my life message called the sad sound of silence. You need to be on this channel on Sunday on Facebook or Telegram or whatever. But hey, listen, Wednesday, don't miss it. Click on the link register, you get a free book and you never know, I might throw in a few other goodies in there as well. I've got a few surprises for you. For those of you that register and show up, don't just register, show up. Unbreakable, I have been able to create several, several uh, first generation financially free people and I want you to be the next one. If you can learn, you can grow. Otherwise, you're going to be subject to the cartel, to the government, World Economic Forum. If you give them the power to feed you, you give them the power to starve you. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Can you please share this? 
And uh, I look forward to seeing you on Sunday. Hey, and register for Wednesday. Do it now. Do it now. Do it now. And please share this. And remember, we are we are standing our ground and we are fighting against this corruption that is in every area of our parliament right now. And we need to support people like Senator Matt Canavan, Jacinda Price, Pauline Hanson, Malcolm Roberts, and some of the other ones that are out there that are really fighting for our freedoms. Hey, send them an email of encouragement. They could do it. Believe you me, they get belted a lot by trolls and idiots. Send them some oxygen to their soul. God bless you, everyone. See you Sunday, but more importantly, see you Wednesday. It's going to be awesome.